Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chim Dima and you're welcome to Chim Dima Uko's channel. Yeah. So if you're a returning subscriber, like I'm so happy to know like you're back to watch my content. And if you're a new subscriber or you're new here, you're not subscribed. <laughs> You're so welcome. You're welcome to Chimdi Marco's channel. I create content around airline, airport, and air travel in general for now. Hopefully, we get to like add something else to this channel. Yes. So if you certainly want to know anything about any of these, you're definitely at the right place. So do well to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So let's jump right into what we have today. We'll be looking at mandatory documents you need for air travel. Yes, so despite the length of a journey, either a short or a longer, a local or a foreign flight, like it still doesn't count. Like there are some documents you need for every air travel, no matter what. Although it varies, like if it's a domestic flight, you don't need so many documents. But then if it's an international flight, there are some documents you need and you must really have to be able to fly. So today I'll be sharing with you those documents that you need to have for an air journey so the first i'm talking about first for domestic flight and then i'll continue with international flight so first for domestic flight you need a valid id card yes a valid id card when i mean valid it should not be expired they should be able to see clearly what's written on the card you should not have a card that maybe you said maybe something has happened to it and then the letters and numbers and everything on it is all blur and someone could not really cannot really read what's on it like you may have issues trying to travel with valid ID cards like that. Sorry, with ID cards like that. So, you want to have a valid ID card. It can be your driver's license. It can be your national identification card. If you, it can be your, what? Like, any valid, if you're a student, you can use your student ID card. Just a card that is very valid. And you must make sure that the details on that card matches the details on your air ticket very important like your name everything has to match so they have to be sure that you're the one and most airlines also would either want an identification that has a photo and so may not mind so just to be on the safer side it's better you go with a form of identification that has your photo on it so number one thing you should make sure you have when going for an air travel is that you should make sure that you have a valid ID card. You need an e-ticket. Yes. First of all, this e-ticket is usually verified at the like entrance of the airport by the aviation security. That's like what you show to them to show that ah you're going to be on this flight. So they get to like check it before they let you into the airport. So you check it there and also you check it over the check-in counter so to be sure that it's valid. So you must make sure that you have an e-ticket. Usually, if you book your flight online, there's an e-ticket there. You may not want to print it out. You may just have it on your phone, and that's fine. They can look at it over the counter and still present you with your boarding pass. But then, if you bought your flight ticket over the counter, you'll be given an e-ticket there. Like, they'll print it out, rather. They'll print out the ticket, and then you can have it on the paper to show whenever you're about to, like, travel. So, when you have an e-ticket, together with a valid ID card... This is what you present over the counter and then they give you your boarding pass yes so you must make sure that you have an e-ticket like you have it something to show that you actually bought your flight ticket which brings me to the third point which is your boarding pass your boarding pass is a, as in a document that has like your legal name yes it has your name that's like the final document you get from the counter before you travel it has your name it has the city you're going to, it has the city you're going from, it has your seat number, every like valid information you need, like before you board the plane, it has almost everything on it. So you your body part is like the very last document you get before you board the plane. So usually it's very necessary that you come on time because sometimes if people don't like make it to the airport on time and all that, you may if you don't get your boarding pass, there's no way that you're flying. So there's definitely no way. So you just need to make sure that you're there on time to like check in and get a boarding pass. So your boarding pass is one document so you must have before you can fly. We all for local flights. I've already mentioned everything you need. I said your boarding pass, I said your e-ticket, and I said a valid ID card. So these are like very important things you need for like local flights. And it's also very important to note that 
these things too are very necessary for international flights too so if you're going to travel by air like for international flight you still need your body parts you still need like all these things i just spoke about but then you need more things to it and then number one is that you need your passport you know passport is a form of identification like from your country to show that you're a citizen of this country so if you travel out you can always come back and all that so you always need your passport like whenever you're traveling different countries have different colors nigeria has the green passport new zealand has the black passport other countries some have red and other colors so like you must make sure that you have your country's passport like when you're traveling and like it's very important you cannot cross the border without your passport like no matter where you're going to even if it's the closest like international court as in another yeah. country <laughs> even if it's the closest country like you must just have your passport so the fifth thing you need to travel yes and that's your visa your visa is like an endorsement placed on your passport that grants you the holder like an access into another country either to visit to stay or whatsoever there are different kind of visas your stories you have the student visa you have the work visa and so on so like you can actually not go to some other person's country without although it differs though there are some countries where you can get like your visa on arrival yes there are some countries that you travel to and then you get your visa when you arrive on that country but then there are some countries where you can't leave your country without having the visa to that country so the visa is very very important so you shouldn't even consider flying <laughs> to another country when you don't have like your visa and it doesn't have to be expired like that's also very important so the immigration or whatever of that other country doesn't come looking for you and all that bundling you back home <laughs> that won't be fair so like you really need to have your visa before you're planning on leaving to another country you need your yellow card yes you usually get this when you get to the airport for international flights you get this when you get to the airport and majorly what like the information required on this card is usually concerning your health like are you fit enough to fly do you have any illness whatsoever like so every detail you need they need concerning your health is there do you have any like communicable disease that could like you know go off when you're on air or something like do you just have any illness at all so you're just they just want to know some things like cholera and all that so you feel it to be sure that you're fit and not to fly so that's majorly what the yellow card is for so the next thing you need is to feel like you're your card a card you get from the immigration and customs for here in nigeria that card is usually yellow and for the customs card is usually white so like it has all the details they want to like know your pass number your stopovers your final destination you need to declare like your currency and all that so you need to like state all these things on that card and this is majorly for international flight you don't do this if you're flying with local flight especially everything on like your passport data page that's what you have to like feel on this form and then you before you'll be able to like travel yes so also for i'll make a separate video on that talking about like if you're pregnant what you need to do as in and also for infants to what they need to like you know have if they want to travel and if you want to see this video just let me know in the comment section and i'll do that also and i hope you like enjoyed this video because i enjoyed filming it like <laughs> i really enjoyed filming this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up like share comment and tell others about the good news and i will see you in my next video bye